Hi everyone, my name is Liam. Welcome to this match preview prediction for the match between Stefanos Tsitsipas and Karen Hachinov in the semi finals of the 2023 Australian Open. Let's get into it. The first semi final is here, and we've got Stefanos Tsitsipas against Karen Hachinov, which is going to be a great match, I think. If you look at their matches in the in the quarter final, Stefanos Tsitsipas straight to business against Joe Lehechka. It seemed like, you know, Lehechka had some opportunities here and there. He had about eight break points during the match, just wasn't able to convert them, and Tsitsipas was actually playing much better on the pressure points. He was upping the tempo on his serve, his forehand, his backhand. He was just trying to give it as much as he could when he was facing, you know, pressure. Julia Hechka, on the other hand, was getting a little bit nervous by missing those opportunities. And when another opportunity came, he was just so nervous that he got another opportunity that he didn't want to miss it. And eventually he did. Um, it was a, it was a straight set to win for Titi Pass. I think it was what he wanted. I think he, don't, he didn't want another sort of potential comeback or four set match against you know like like he had against Sinner he, don't, he, don't, he doesn't want a five set five, fifth set match like Sinner he doesn't want a four set match where you know then the pressure comes into you in the fourth set whether you want to you know you don't want to get to a fifth set again it was a good win and he's into his third consecutive Australian Open semi-final which is great now he's facing Karen Hachinov who also had a straight sets win you would say played against uh Played against Sebastian Corder, won the first two sets, seven six six three. Then free love up in the in the third set. Sebastian Corder had to retire due to a wrist injury. It's the right call. You don't want to, especially as a tennis player, like your wrist is what pays the bills most of it. Uh, you don't want to injure that wrist any further than you need to when you feel that it is like there might be a twinge or something. So it was a good idea to retire because we saw what happened to Dominic Team when his wrist went and how it's been so hard for him to come back. So you don't want that for Sebastian Corder either. Um, but you know what, I think if you look at the match from start to finish, Kashinov did play very well and as I said in my prediction video for that match, I thought Kashinov was going to win in five sets and to be honest, if Korda was at his uh, at his best and not injured, I think he still would have won in five sets. He was playing better than Korda from start to finish. Um, if you look at the head-to-head -head here, it's quite dominant. 5-0 and for Stefanos Tsitsipas. All their matches have been quite straightforward for, towards Stefanos. The issue here is that usually Kashinov Kachinov, is, is a good returner but Tsitsipas has got a much better serve than anyone Kashinov's faced so far in the tournament. And Tsitsipas has the best forehand out there in terms of this half of the draw at the moment. Well, even most of the time, if you don't count Rafa. Um, I think I think Kachanov has been playing well. It's his second consecutive semi-final, his first here in Australia. Do I see him, you know, winning the match? No, I don't see him winning the match. Do I see him taking a set? Definitely, yeah. I think he can take a set. I don't see him pushing it to five. I just think Tsitsipas is in a very good form right now. And he always loves it here in Australia. He always plays for the crowd here in Australia. He always tries to give it his best. I do see Tsitsipas winning quite comprehensively. I do still see Kachanov stealing a set. Kachanov is great, but I think against Tsitsipas, who's going to try and dictate on the forehand, he's going to be moving around too much. He's a big guy. He, d he doesn't have as good of a movement pattern as Stefanos Tsitsipas has. He might get a little bit impatient, so I think Tsitsipas is going to win this match in four sets. So go for Tsitsipas to win or Tsitsipas minus one and a half sets. If you want more predictions from my expert writers, please visit tennissection.com. And if you want the best bets every single day, straight into your email from myself and our expert writers, please visit tennissection.com forward slash premium.